What's going on guys, Ryan here, and today uh, is just a really quick, hopefully quick, uh, vlog, but update style vlog video. I just want to go around and kind of show you what's been going on in our apartment, and our lives, and what's been going on for the past couple weeks, and what's going to happen in the next couple weeks. Because in two weeks, uh, almost exactly in two weeks, we are going to be moving. And as you can tell, there's a bunch of boxes behind me. And um, if you've been watching my last, I don't know, month's videos, you will probably know that I am moving. We are actually moving out of our apartment, and we're going to live at uh, Ellie's, my wife's uh, parents' house for the summer. Because one, I don't have a job, and two, Ellie's in school, and so during the summer, she isn't in school, and there's no reason to stay here and spend $1,000 every month just to pay rent when you don't even have a job. And yes, I do have, I am still on unemployment, that's still fine. But of course, if we can save as much money as possible, that would be awesome. And that makes sense. To, to everyone, I, I, I would, it makes sense to move. Now, I've had some boxes kind of boxed up and, and set right there for a while, like uh, 16 maybe. But yesterday I did like four or five more uh, because we have two weeks left. And we just put some stuff away and I kind of want to show you what we did put away. Uh, I just kind of went through our closet, kind of had her help me go through her clothes because we never did. I kind of did, but I didn't do much. And we got rid of a lot. I mean, this thing was literally full. Like, every bit was like this. Like, it was jam-packed with clothes. Now there's some space, and you can see the clothes that you actually have. And it goes about halfway now. Uh, before, it was literally on my side, too. Like, I had... I. <laughs> I basically had my clothes from here on, and it was all smushed this way, pretty much right here. But now, I, uh, I think these and these are all my shirts that I have right now, and obviously there's a couple shirts that are dirty. But um, still, uh, she still has quite a bit of clothes for the next two weeks, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I put away some more shoes and some more other clothes. I uh, like the white shirts and the colored shirts, like the bright colored shirts, because we I don't want to wear them and have a super small load of clothes to do. Not only that, but like I said, I put some more shoes away. So that was a couple more boxes. I also did put away my bathroom. Kind of keep going back and forth. My bathroom shower curtain, because this is the plastic curtain that has to go on, you know, a tub shower so the water doesn't come out. But if you want something that looks a little bit nicer, you would have either like a plastic or some sort of different material that is like waterproof or water resistant. Or you can have a, a two system, a plastic uh, shower curtain and then a fabric shower curtain. That's what we had. It was black and gray if you don't remember it. And I took that off and now Eugene really likes to run from like over here all the way into the tub and actually like jump into the curtain and he didn't do that before. I mean he did run and kind of go into the tub but he couldn't like just go directly into the tub. He kind of had to go uh, underneath the curtain or beside the curtain because it was blocking his kind of way in. But now that it's gone he loves to do that and he does it all the time. <laughs> so not only that, but uh, like a few months ago, I think I mentioned it, we broke uh, our bathroom sink. Our soap dispenser is made out of thick glass and it's pretty, really heavy. And when it has soap in it, it's even heavier. But somehow it, it fell into the sink and it cracked the sink. And then some time later, we didn't really notice that and I never remembered picking it up. It did it again, it fell. And I think this time it was Ellie who um, kind of, it fell over because she was doing something, I don't know, something like that. And it fell and it cracked it and it cracked it even more to the point where it started leaking water and you couldn't really use it. So long story short, I just don't want to get into it again. I kind of had the apartment complex come and look at it and see, if, you know, how much it would be to replace it. And someone told me that it was going to be 200 to $250 to replace and I think that it was just like outrageous. And I was like, a sink cannot cost that much. I looked up the same brand, model, and everything, and it was $50 at most. And I was like, okay, that that is crazy. They're gonna charge me $150 to $200 just for like the man hours or whatever. I was like, no, that is, that is crazy. So I was gonna do it myself. And the one sink I got and I found was shipped to me and it was broke because the shipping, <laughs> it, it doesn't have any padding inside of it. So 
it was broken and I was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna try anymore. I'll just save up some money and then spend the 200, 250 dollars for them to replace it and whatever. Then we came up with the idea that we need to move this summer and get a lease takeover so we could save a bunch of money and so our lease was gonna be up in August and so we're like, let's just do it. Then I was like, I have to get it replaced before we move out and the new person moves in because it's not fair for them to have to deal with the broken sink and to deal uh, with the replacement. We did kind of seal it so it didn't leak, but we didn't use any, we didn't have anything underneath the sink. We just had towels just in case it did leak, but it never did. And so we got it replaced the other day and long story short, um, they said it was only 66 bucks. So I think that was just the price of the sink. It wasn't anything else. And they only charged me 66. They didn't charge me anything else and they didn't even say anything else. So I got a good deal on that, thankfully. But so that's replaced. And actually, let me show you what it looks like. It's actually not the same exact sink. It's not the same brand. Hello. And it looks like this. It looks a lot like it, but I think this part back here is a little bit thicker. Um, and then around the edges is a, a little bit thicker and it has a different like shape of a bowl down here. But other than that, uh, it's, it's like the same thing. And so I'm glad it's fixed. I'm glad that we got it fixed. And before I keep talking, I do want to mention that they had to order it. Uh, like, like I said, the first time we contacted them and it took about like a, maybe a week for it to come in. Um, so this time I didn't, in case they have like already used the sink and they would have to order another one. I didn't want to like put the work order in the day or two before we move. And so they would have to install the sink when the new person is here. And so I asked them, I like put a work order in uh, last week, I think, just like three weeks before we move. And guess what? They did it like the next day, which that's kind of its own story how uh, they, I sent an appointment for the 27th because we'll be gone. Because I didn't want us to be here while they're here because I don't really like that. And I didn't want Eugene to, uh, he's right over here sleeping. Uh, I didn't want him to be here while they're here cause I, and, and us gone. But anyways, they kind of called me the next day and was like, hey, are you free now? And I was like, you know what, 30 minutes I'll be gone. How about you come uh, and we'll be out of your way. And so I put him in the bedroom, kind of put the cat tower and this litter box and a bunch of toys in there. And I put a rug in front of the door so he doesn't scratch the carpet while they're here. And that was fine. And we left. I actually had to come back to get my wallet because I forgot it. And then they were just at the door when I came in. And so I, I let them in and, I was, and they were like, oh, we thought we, you were gonna be gone. I was like, I was, but I forgot my wallet. So I had to go back in the bedroom, get my wallet and leave. And they're really nice and they did it in less than, I think an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I don't know how long we were gone. It was, uh, we made that Fry video, the um, Comparing Brands Fry's Edition. We did that that day, so that was, that was something that we had to do anyways and it was just nice for them to come over when we're not here and then replace it. But it looks great, so that's fine. We're done with that. The, we have some stuff we need to do and for the next couple weeks and actually let me get the paper. I actually kind of want to tell you guys, if you're planning to move, um, get something like this. Get a calendar to write all the things that you need to do and the days it needs to be done and actually on this calendar too I have um, like a, a food plan, like a meal plan uh, for every day for the next month and part of it is incorrect just because we forgot or didn't or changed some stuff around. Plus it just kind of tells me the, the days where I need to do something before we leave and, and I have the um, plan for the truck and what goes where, who goes where, and I have some sticky notes to go along with it. So I think that would be a good idea for you guys. But basically next week, Sometime next week, I need to go over to her parents' house and clean the upstairs where we're gonna be moving into because they already had some stuff up there and plus they had someone stay there for like a couple months because they needed some place to stay. So it's a little dirty. I mean, it is no matter what because, I mean, this place is dirty too. So we're gonna have to clean it here too. So it makes sense, you know, I have to go over there sometime next week to clean it. But also, I think maybe this weekend, uh, this Saturday, I will also have to go to my dad's to clean his apartment because every month, if you didn't know, I go to my dad's apartment to clean um, and that's just kind of our deal that we have. The other thing is I also need to clean here and we need to pick, pack up the rest of our stuff. So uh, we have quite a bit of stuff to do still. Not too many days left, honestly. 
And um, this Thursday or Friday, so tomorrow or Friday, uh, I'm planning on going to Lowe's and Home Depot and any other place to look at some like decor or home improvement sort of stuff just because I'm really in the mood with that and so is Ellie. And so we're just going to make a little trip of it um, this Friday, I think. And then also next week, uh, probably Thursday if I can remember, Ellie and I are going to go to Ikea because, which is a couple hours away. And we need to go because there's a closet organizer, like just one of those clothes rack where you put all your shirts, you know, hang stuff up on. Because upstairs where we're going to be living at, at our parents' house, there is no closet. And so we have a bunch of shirts and no closet and I don't want to spend money on a super cheap looking uh, plastic and kind of cheap metal um, rack that is like 25 to 40 bucks and we need two of them but Ikea has one that fits and that looks decent for like 12 bucks so we're gonna do that plus while we're there we can just look around for other stuff too it doesn't really matter we can kill time Speaking of going places and killing time, you're probably thinking you're gonna go to Ikea during this time, this climate. Yes, because I'm fully vaccinated now. I just got my shot, my second shot, um, the end of last month, so a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. So the first shot, which was about two months ago, I would say, was fine. Just a sore arm for a couple days and that was it. The second shot was a really sore arm for a few more days and uh, the, the night of my shot, I had like chills and I, my body felt hot and I had the chills and I kind of didn't feel good. The next day, I didn't really feel that great and I didn't do much and I was tired and actually we slept. We like took a nap uh, from like maybe 7 to 9 p.m. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And we woke up, we we're like, now we have to get ready for bed. So that happened. Then the next day, and actually that night I felt fine. Um, just a little here and there, a little too hot. But the next day, uh, I felt a lot better, but I still kind of took the day off, didn't do too much. And then after that, it was just totally fine. I was fine. My arm wasn't sore after a few more days after that. And now I'm, I'm great. I feel fine. Um, nothing is crazy going on. Um, I think most of my family's vaccinated. I think uh, her family's vaccinated, so that's great. So if you can get your shot, definitely get it. Uh, it's it's awesome. Uh, right now I have something uploading for today's, actually yesterday's video. Um, while you're watching this, it's Monday's video, but it's uploading Tuesday. I think today's Tuesday. No, it's Tuesday's video. It's uploading today, which is a Wednesday. I kind of keep forgetting what day is what day and what we're doing. But anyways, yeah, this video I'm uploading is the Minecraft episode 10. And it took a while, and plus we were busy Sunday, so I couldn't edit and finish recording stuff. But again, episode, like episode 9, where I did more cinematic, more, um, not hardcore, but better things, and um, kind of more in-depth editing and recording, I did it again. I had like almost two hours of footage to go through, and to get it down to a little bit less than 30 minutes. And so... I had Minecraft to go through, uh, footage, and then I also had Replay Mod to go through, and then I had a couple other things to do. But it's done. It's uploading now. Uh, I, it's a little iffy for this episode, but I think it's still interesting what I did and how much I got done with that episode. Plus, ever since the last episode of Valheim, I've been play playing it uh, off camera to get a bunch of this wood, and I actually set up a new base and got some other things together so then I can get to the next step of progressing in the game. So I just basically did the grind off camera, which was fine. I actually kind of liked it. It was, I listened to a podcast or watched a couple of videos while doing it. So it wasn't anything crazy. And I don't know what else to say. I, um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, today, uh, my idea for this video was just kind of going to be a vlog about me doing stuff throughout the day, but honestly, it's the same thing as the last two vlogs, where I have to clean, I have to do the dishes, and um, do some laundry. That's, that's adult life, especially when you don't have a job or you can't really go anywhere. So, I'm stuck here cleaning, doing laundry, doing the dishes, because for some reason, when you're an adult and you're on your own, you have so many dishes and you do that every single day, all day long, basically. That's that, that video is almost done. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't remember what else I was gonna mention. 
um, yeah, so two weeks and we're gonna be moving. And then after that, I, I'm hoping that unemployment will be fine for the rest of summer uh, because I have a lot of plans for my YouTube channel and, and videos to make. I wanna go camping, I, we will be going to Silverwood, I think, and uh, maybe we do some other stuff, like some other trips, but majority of the part is gonna be making uh, really nice quality content with the garden, with working on my car, cleaning it, getting that done, and maybe just kind of having some cool vlogs where I mow the yard or, I don't know, do something, go places. And plus, we'll be saving a lot of money, so when we go somewhere, we can spend a little bit more, and so on and so forth. So, again, oh, just because I just realized it, uh, you probably noticed there's just a single chair right here. It looks funny with all these boxes, but because the table is actually currently right here, Ellie had me move it uh, so she can do some uh, of her homework in like a different environment, because over there, it's not so bright, and plus it's the same thing that she's been used to. But shove it near the window, we got all this natural light, Plus it's right next to my desk, so uh, that'll be there probably until we get to start moving because my plan is to have all the furniture over here and all the boxes over here. So uh, I would have to move some things over. That's fine, I still gotta pack up some couple things, some more books, some boxes that I don't need, and some equipment and then just kind of wait a little bit. I don't know, things could change this summer. Uh, there are more and more states are um, pulling back on unemployment benefits uh, completely or the extra $300 a week. And so we'll see what happens. I live in Washington, so it's a democratic state, but who knows, um, I, I hope it stays fine because if I can stay on unemployment, I can do this full time and take all my time into doing what I want to do, which is YouTube, uh, because if I get a job, yeah, even kind of part-time, I don't make enough or I don't have enough time to do this, which I want to do. And so I can't really grow when I don't make videos. So that's the plan. Hopefully it doesn't change. If it does, it does. I'll work around it. But yeah, so get ready because uh, in the next couple weeks, I might not be doing um, gaming videos as much. I might do just one more in the next two weeks. Um, and maybe one more like video like this. Other than that, this summer is gonna be a lot better with videos. I mean, we can do uh, off-brand versus name brand some more. We can do comparing brands. Another uh, video of the Fry video. I have to, an idea for that. Uh, we can do other things too. So yeah, just get ready. It's gonna be exciting. This summer is gonna be my summer. Uh, I, I call it. I really, I really do. Like again, like I said, uh, like I keep saying, I think that'll be it for today's video. I think I don't have anything else to say. So if you liked it, be sure to smack that button as hard as you can. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me a lot. And I'll see you guys all next time. Brrr.